it goes. You just get to ride. It feels like 300 pounds heavier. We'll probably need help, Jeff. <laughs> get the door. Actually, if you get up, we'll probably do it. There you go. You're such a smart ass. Hey everybody, Chris with Legendary Customs. Touch and base, what's happening? Zach and Jeff are putting the Chevelle together. Show you the progress. As you can see, the motor that was in is still there. Brand new aluminum radiator installed. Upper radiator hose. Air conditioning going in. Zach painted the cover that we ordered separately that goes over that, but it's kind of backwards. We thought it was going in one way, it goes in another. How it was stamped. This actually is the original location for air conditioning on these cars. So Vintage Air did a great job copying that. Jeff, on the other hand, is working on the interior. Finally got the correct carpet in. Door panels are really looking awesome. Long time to get there. We put in a brand new old school radio, AM, FM, Bluetooth, hands-free, and there is the AC. This did come as a non-AC car from the factory, so we chose this route to give it the look that would have happened way back in the 60s and 70s to add the air conditioner. Now, way back then, you could actually order this from the Sears Robux catalog and several other places. But that is what we have going on there. Looking really good all the way around. In the rear, you can see the design that Jeff put together. A little bit of a surprise. The vehicle owner has no idea, but we boxed in the rear trunk. Just something to give it a cleaner look trunks sometimes are really ugly this makes it a lot more palatable they are solid they are not a flimsy panel out of cardboard we actually made them out of wood and we put wood backers on on the bottom we did not alter the trunk in any way we actually used a very very strong adhesive and put a wood backer glued to the floor just like it's done many many times and put in the trunk liner and there it is the money shot now the original somebody had put on the ss badges on the inside i am not 100% certain, but I believe that is an SS badge out of a 1962 or 63 Impala. Those don't belong. So we're cleaning it up, going back to the original, and boy oh boy, does it look nice. The rest of the carpet will be in tomorrow, and hopefully by the end of the day, the seats will be in. Has to be by the end of the day. We're going to a car show on Saturday. Wheels are on, lowering springs. Front is two inches lower than factory. The rear is three inches lower than factory. The fronts have been changed over to disc brake. And we're also putting in, as you can see, power brakes. Something that wasn't in this car but the new owner would like that so that is what we got making great progress appreciate you tuning in hit that subscription button that helps us out and thumbs up if you like what you're seeing
Next. Today is a huge day for the 66 Chevelle SS Super Sport. Hood is on, first time in six plus years. Trunk is on, first time in six plus years. Has glass, first time in six plus years. The guys really pulled it together today. Chris stopped in, helped us put in the glass. All of that came together. The interior is in like 85%. Just a beautiful car. All of the months of work that it took to get it to here, when you start seeing this stage, is when it becomes really worth it. And all the memories that are gonna be created by this car with its new family out in Maine is going to be just amazing. It's an honor to be part of that for them. Rick Sr., Rick Jr., I know you're gonna love it. I'm not sure if you can see it. There's something going on behind me. You did it! You did it! Well, now you I'm got not... out of the camera! Well, now I'm not going to do it anymore. <laughs> Something's happening back here. I am just getting up to the shop. They've been working on the Chevelle and got the belts on, all that good jazz. There's really not much left to happen to this vehicle. Um, they did turn it over, which I missed. Um, but unfortunately, when they did that, it ran for a short bit and it shut off. So Zach's got things torn apart, thinks maybe one of the, uh, I'm gonna go with, I don't even know, he's doing some compression tests on it and whatnot, make sure nothing's sticking, and uh, let's go inside and check it out. All of that fun jazz that you need to deal with when first starting an engine. There's always some troubleshooting to happen. So that's what's happening. Any luck? What's that? You figure anything out? I just only have one cylinder done. Oh. It's like I do seven more. Oh, wow. All right. Hopefully we'll know something, huh? No bet. Hopefully we'll know something. Yeah.
Keep watching, more episodes to come. Amazing car here.